Now in the previous video we introduced a concept of entropy in very very brief detail. Now let's take the discussion of it forward and talk about you know uh, why two reversible adiabatics can never intersect each other. Let's have a look at this plot which is PV plot. Right. So we have two reversible adiabatics. The first reversible adiabatic is CA and the second one is BC. So both of these reversible adiabatics or you can say isentropic lines isentropic lines they are intersecting at the point C okay and we have you know cut across these two isentropics with a constant temperature line so AB AB is an isotherm which is a constant temperature line okay now as we know that uh, you can only have heat interaction with you know uh, with the surroundings at constant temperature and not at constant entropy so you will have some heat addition at this end so let us say this is heat addition q1 and the temperature is t1 at which this isotherm is operating so now if you look at this diagram very very clearly it is showing that a b c a it is creating a cycle okay now what is this cycle doing this cycle is exchanging heat with the surroundings at just one temperature so you just have heat absorption there is no second temperature and there is no heat rejection now this is violating the kelvin planck statement for second law you know as per the Kelvin Planck statement as per the Kelvin Planck's statement okay you cannot have or you should have some heat rejection this should be positive value it can never be zero and there has to be you know uh, you know an operation that occurs between two temperature limits so there is no you know t2 is 0 and ql is also 0 so this is in violation of the kelvin blank statement okay because it is violating the statement so this kind of an arrangement is not possible now what is this arrangement telling us we are intersecting these two isentropic lines now because these two isentropic lines are intersecting this kind of arrangement showed up but this arrangement is not valid this means this is not valid so this proves that two isentropic lines can never ever intersect each other because it creates a cycle which ultimately violates the kp statement for second law okay so i hope you understood this small but yet very important proof on this topic of entropy now let's move a bit further and talk about glossier statement which you now forms a very important basis for further study of entropy. So in the next video, let's talk about Clausius statement.